everyone, it is Marie here from Skeins, and just a quick catch up uh, before I buzz out the door to head down to the Creative Fibre Festival, which is their 50 year golden anniversary to them this year, which is a huge milestone. And I know many of you have been involved with Creative Fibre over the years or are still currently involved and are heading to festival. And I would so, so love to see you if you're going to be there. Um, I'm certainly going to be there. There's a massive number of traders there. And they've made it really easy for anybody to attend. So if you're around in the Manawatu area and I know it is super super central really easy to get to um, I have got a few details for you if you haven't caught up with it the um, event center it's held at the BMN B and M Center in Palmerston North and Pascal Street arena number four and it is starting tomorrow from 1 p.m. So it's on from 1 to 4 p.m. tomorrow. So if you've got the day off tomorrow and you're looking for something to do, particularly for the kids in the school holidays, if you've got some crafty kids out there that want to check out some of the demonstrations they have running, they've got some really hands-on displays, um, they've got, oh, I mean, I'll be there. Uh, Pack the kids up and bring them across because it's open between one and four tomorrow. So it's a really good time activity to do and all children under 12 are free. And entry for adults is just $5, which I think is a fantastic price um, to enter the event considering how much is going to be going on. So do check that out. Um, I will be there bringing um, blankets the blankets that I showed you the other day, I have gone and taken some of those samples with me and I will have them priced exceptionally, exceptionally cheaply because those are um, just a whole variety of different samples that we've got, they're not the finished product. So if you're wanting to bag an incredible bargain on a brush gel pack of blanket, trust me, you need to get and see me at the arena because that's where I'll have that special and that's where I'll be with those. Um, also too, if you come and put, buy anything off me, uh, you go into the drawer to win a blanket as well. So we've We've still got those blankets that we're giving away both online and in store. All you need to do is make a purchase to go in the drawer. So that's nice and simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, I'm also to bringing some little quirky naked bits as well. When I say naked, I mean naked yarn, not naked me. Um, will be there. And I've been saving those especially for creative fiber at some really sharp prices. And I've also got some really wonderful um, quirky little weaving yarns um, that have been dyed in different things, which are wonderful effect yarns, particularly if you're a weaver or you do um, macrame or you like to do some really crazy Stephen B-esque type uh, layered um, or multi-stranded knitting. I will have that there at some really, really sharp pricing. Um, and then I'll also have Sockmetician Edition and I will have I will have um, a little bit of Outlaw as well. And there is a, and some Outlaw which will be launched in a couple of days. I will have it at Creative Fibre Festival first. So if you want to get your hands on it before Friday, you come and see me on Thursday. I've got permission to sell it on Thursday just at the festival and I will have that with me as well. So the festival again is open tomorrow 1 to 4, um, 1 to 4 and um, tomorrow Anzac Day. It's open 9 to 5 Friday and Saturday and then 9 to 1 on Sunday to allow us all to pack down and head, head back home. So that is where I'll be. Um, so do, yeah, do definitely come and visit and say good day. Uh, what else have I got to tell you? Um, oh, finished a project. So I sort of... Um, so over the long weekend, I, I have a tendency to like to do stuff that is just completely, utterly brainless when I am having a little bit of a break or being quite full on. And I had finished the chica, which you probably saw last week, which will be coming with me. I'm bringing the charcoal chica to um, Creative Fibre, so do check that out. Uh, and I suddenly thought, oh, I just need something really simple. I've been doing garment after garment after garment after garment. I actually want something that I can pick up, start, finished within a weekend. And I remembered this. This is a pattern that, I mean, this is not an earth shattering, really difficult pattern. I'm sure that there are multiple patterns similar to this. Uh, this is the one that I devised, actually, on behalf of a friend of mine a few years back. Uh, it said to me, she actually had a, a commercially bought product that she wasn't particularly, she loved the style, but she wanted it because, for it to be reversible. Um, the one that she had had a seam and she just, and she wanted a specific color and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I, the, you know, made one for her. 
and and I called it just rib B, which is that's it there. It's just literally a ribbed tube. Nothing um, very, very difficult. And I've actually posted, it's free, I've posted this pattern actually out to everybody who was on the mailing list the other day. So I cast this on an Outlaw Ambrotype, which is actually my favourite, one of my favourite colours, and it's being discontinued. But that's okay, because there's wonderful colours coming in, so that's why. And I love this colour, because as you can see, it's in these dusky pink tones, which you know that I love. Um, if I'm going to wear soft colours, it will be this colour. Bra keeps showing, good grief. Chuggy, can't take me anywhere. Anywho, um, whipped this, this sucker up over the weekend, and it was just the most satisfying thing to knit, because two by two rib is nowhere near as arduous as one by one rib, and the other nice thing with it is that you don't have to look at it, because you know where you're going, you get a rhythm, and you just sort of, it's, it's like, um, it's like a train track almost, it's a really simple, comforting, comforting is the word I'm looking for, thing to know. So that is finished, and that's blocked. As you can see, it gives a bit of stretch out when it's blocked. And the, I have to say, first one of these I ever knit was in the burlesque that we had in a single roving, which was quite stiff, because a single roving can be surprisingly dense when you pull it together. Whereas this, because of the alpaca, has given it this really lovely drape. But as you can see, I still have nice defined ribs there and that's because of the pole worth and then after a block the possum comes out to play and it is just lovely so the possum for those that do worry that it might be a little bit uh, around the neck it's not it's absolutely gorgeous to wear um, I just know I'm going to thrash this and in fact I know it's so much um, of how much I'm going to thrash this that I then promptly with two balls of it does it that's not how the colour looks but anyway two balls of um, shelly which is discontinued as well, but there is also the Byron, which actually, as that looks on the screen, is what Byron looks like, which has just gone back onto the website. I've cast on another one. Now, if you missed out on that pattern, don't panic, I'll whack the link back up in the comments for you. Um, but I have to say, Outlaw Bohemia Worsted is perfect, absolutely perfect for this pattern. Um, it takes one and a half balls, so I have got half a ball left over, but that's okay, because I will find other things to do with that. Um, but it's just, and you could actually, if you want it, I mean, I, I, I've got it to a length that suits me, you could actually do the entire two balls, which would take it to about out to here, which would give you a nice sort of scrunchy version, which I actually might do with that, Shelley, just to see what it looks like. Um, but you can do that, that's no problem whatsoever. Uh, and it is, it's just ideal because that's just the combination of fibre, the construction, uh, the possum, everything, just perfect. So I'm going to do another one of those. As I said, I will be at Fibre Festival with some of that Bohemia, um, and some of the Bohemia Gothic actually, and I'll be having, I've got Poe, I'll have Poe there, I'll have, I've got, I think we've only got about a bag of Heathcliff left, which is that beautiful stormy grey, I will have that which will be at uh, special pricing, uh, so do definitely come and check that out. Uh, the other yarn, I think that's, and also we've got the other Bohemia still on the website at special pricing that you can use that for. Um, the other yarn that I think this is perfect in is the Moody Hughes DK, so um, three balls of that, um, this is fantastic, or if you want some really nice bright blocked colours, um, Urban Deluxe, this is perfect for, soft enough to wear against the skin. Um, also, I think, uh, silver lining, any of the silver linings, perfect, perfect. Albertine, beautiful. So you've got loads of options, all DK, again, gorgeous. So loads and loads of options. You can find the colour if you're looking for a pop of colour in your wardrobe or something to tone in. And it's quick. I mean, I, I knocked this out in three days, and that's not going at it all the time. That's just picking it up at night and when we're watching the telly. So it was really nice and easy. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, Urban Deluxe. Because we're at, the, at the moment, we've all the ranges have all got colours coming back in. One colour that we've now added to the Urban Deluxe range, which we've been asked to add, is Mist, which we have got over in... Um, orb, but it's our beautiful, beautiful light light grey. So we've got two greys in there now, a darker grey and a light grey, and as well as a white. So you've actually got three very neutral contrasts 
fair because people are using that for colour work and they'd be wanting that light grey. So I loaded that up for you this morning. The other thing I loaded up this morning, um, because we did this as a limited edition colour, it sold out so quick. Couldn't believe it. Everyone just loved it was Paris Peach, and again, it looks so much better in real life than on that screen, but Paris Peach is now back in stock, um, and that is over in the Merino Soft page. So if you're looking for that beautiful, rich, peachy tone, that is there. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was can registrations. That's what I actually spent a good chunk of my weekend doing over the Easter break, uh, was working and building the registration page for CAN and getting those details together. So Knit August Nights, which is CAN, is uh, coming up again in August. We've got Stephen B, Stephen B aka Stephen Berg, um, coming from Minnesota out of the USA. He is probably one of the busiest teachers in the US. He does all the Vogue um, knitting shows, Stitches Vest, the whole works burger. He's probably one of the uh, most sought after tutors that they have in the US, so it's a real buzz to get him down. So he will be there. He's doing a master class on Thursday the 22nd and then four classes across the weekend, Friday, Saturday. I also have Georgie Nicholson coming back, aka Tiki Knits. Um, Georgie is amazing. She's actually uh, such a well uh, respected. Australian designer. She's also a teacher in her day job, so she's an amazing tutor. Everyone who does classes with Georgie just come out with minds blown. Um, she's also doing a masterclass on the Thursday as well as four classes across the weekend. Um, so it's so great to have them. I've also got Claire Devine coming back um, for more classes this year. She's ex Brisbane uh, via South Africa, I think originally. She's taught at the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. So excited to have her. She's actually doing a whole um, new class, completely new classes to can, a couple around socks and another one around substitution. So there is so much to go. Of 33 classes across three, four days. We've got um, some of the tutors that you know and love. We've got some retro classes going back to uh, cans of old, cans one, two, and three. We've also got a number of classes that are brand spanking new. There is something there for everybody. I really strongly suggest that you have a look at that weekend and get, give yourself the weekend. So take the um, when, uh, the Friday, if not the Thursday off, and get yourself down to Hawke's Bay for a long weekend. It will certainly, certainly be worth it. The most important thing, though, is you need to get in and get yourself registered. The classes do sell really quickly, especially the popular ones. But I've made a point to get more class repeats in there this year, plus also a greater number of classes. So then if you miss out on the one that you really, really want, it may be coming up again in the program, later on in the program, or there is another fantastic option within that stream that you can select. So get yourself registered. Um, knitaugustnights.co.nz Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will actually see a little window. I've had a window put in there which gives you, you can type in your email address and get yourself onto that mailing list. Once you're on that mailing list, then I will be sending you out the link to make sure you can get registered ASAP on the 1st of May. So that's all I'm going to yabber on about today. If you need anything, do make sure you give me a holler. I'm always about. And do come and visit if you are going to be in Palmerston North in the next few days. I would so love to see you. But until then, hopefully it's dry at your place. It isn't here. Um, but I'll see you again next week and let you know how we got on while we're away. Take care.